If you want to fight a small yeah. war, control an aircraft carrier or fly a spaceship, do it all from in here. Literally all of it. That's his fantasy. He wants his bedroom like this now. Can we do a rehearsal? No. Why? Because we've run out of money. We can't run out of money. We can get here. Want to see what it's for? Wilson! That's what it's for. <laughs> Wilson! Yeah. We have our ball back. <laughs> so how do you explain the show to someone? He's never, never seen. Yeah, exactly. It's. Three middle-aged men in poor condition, falling over and catching fire, and occasionally a car goes by. There are by. cars in it. Yeah, occasionally oh, one goes yeah. by. It's yeah. very exciting, it's quite funny. We oh, like it. It really is three men with bad teeth and hangovers. Hands have quite good teeth though. You can't sum it up. It's 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 a peripatetic tent-based car themed adventure. Peripatetic is a long word. Peripatetic is a bit long. Roving. Tent-based travelling. No, but it's not like a drama. We can say, no. you know, I play the puzzle. There's a really slow driver and... Uh, this and, and that. I play the part of me. Yeah, he does. He does it very well. Very good impression of him. There's an audience. There's some bits that are inside the tent. Believe me, trust me, trust it's me. a great show. It is a great show. People love it. <laughs> like that. It's, it's be like that. Here. So you get you climb in, you get there and slide in the seat, you find the harness, and you're sitting on a bit and a bit's over the door, and you go, oh god, yeah, funny. You got to find the immobilizer, you got to press a button, yes. find the button, yes, eventually, vroom, vroom, you start sort of, oh, first gear pulled away, and I thought, oh no, I haven't put the steering wheel on. <laughs> How do you, you set, set off set without the wheel? Did you not notice? No, no, I put, you know, you put Where your, were your hands? Well, look, you put, you, you put it in gear and let the clutch up and look, I was in a car park, and you look up and then you put your hands up and you think, something, and for a moment I thought, something's not right. <laughs> only, <laughs> only, it was only you. <laughs> Only you, only you could have your mind elsewhere to such an extent that you would go near the clutch. Well, what, without your um, you lift and well, you actually set off I without set off. the steering wheel. Keith Code would have called it ten dollars of concentration. I'd used them all up on the seatbelt and the starting procedure. And, you know. Yeah. that much. What's going on in a minute? I know you are. Hey Richard, what's happening? I have no idea. There's some melons on cones. This, they grow here like this naturally. The weird thing is, what's growing isn't the melon, it's the cone. That's that's where they come from. That's only a baby one. The, the one you see on the, the streets usually are much bigger. But um, come harvest time, take the melon off and you've got a brand new cone. Lovely to see them, fresh. going to be an accident. We just don't know what sort of accident. I hope it works, but even if it doesn't work, it's still interesting. You couldn't have predicted that. You no. couldn't, none of it. I'm doing something wrong. Everything. No, I can't imagine you'll survive. 
<laughs> that was a mistake. A whole bad Yeah, yeah I, mate, I would have lost it by now. You know, I'm pretty optimistic about the fact that I have my doubts. I've got to be honest. Well, my car has gone fairly spectacularly wrong. Oh, we're all alive, and we've established. Let's see now. Nothing. And it's all completely irrelevant, isn't it? Totally. Yep. Because everyone's just going to say, oh, that was interesting. Yeah. Well, it ended in utter chaos, and I think people like it when things end in utter chaos. Yeah. <laughs> Some people travel the world effortlessly and look great yeah. doing it. Some people do. We just burn. I've even got a heat rash, look. Oh, we always get some burn. Yeah. <laughs> I've got, have you got scrapes all over your legs? From yeah, off the that was, no, that was yesterday's injury. We are going to mention rum while we're here, because we found there's a great rum here called Cock Splash. No. Cock Spur Splash. Cock Spur Splash. We quite fancy a bit of Cock Splash rum. <laughs> Cock Splash Hammond? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. The process of, of disagreeing about things, you know, there's another. If you talk about business. the Wright brothers, oh, I'm going you to stab you. It. You did. <laughs> I was going to talk about the Wright brothers. You were brothers. actually going to do I was it. Going to you were going to sneak it in. You. Again, the Wright brothers used to argue, and then the next day they'd take the opposing views and have the same argument. That's it. He'll take 20 minutes to. No, I didn't. How did you know that? Because you've told me exactly. a thousand times. Obviously, they went through that process and eventually got something very right. The world's first heavier-than-air-powered, controllable aeroplane. We disagree, and we're all wrong. <laughs> that is a fact. You can't escape that. They haven't quite got the story right. The point is that they had an assistant. I've forgotten his name. He used to make the little bits of them. And he became back. We're not going to tell you what just happened, obviously, because you'll have to watch the show, but... <laughs> it was unexpected. All of it was unexpected, and everyone will go, oh, you set that up. No. Well, now you see, we really didn't. But that is, half plus one, that is a wrap. Because hmm. everything's wrecked. <laughs> because we've broken everything. <laughs> it's ruined. Yeah. And the worst is, is, you couldn't have predicted that. You no. couldn't, none of it. Here are our tyre marks coming through the Namib Desert. And to get up this hill, I was flat out in second gear, got to the crest, overtook the camera tracking car, into third, shouting, excuse me, wow, the mighty V8. I anchored up here, stopped here, and look, one, six feet, six feet from going over the edge. Whoa. That's 300 miles to the centre of the earth. I don't feel self-conscious, I don't see any reason why I should. <laughs> it's really awkward. But it's one of those when, it's great on TV, it'll be great when it's done, but... The actual reality of it is I'm driving around Verona in a massive Hellcat with a picture of myself on the side of it. And it's not on TV right now, it's in the real world and people just think, what is he doing? It's embarrassing, I'm not gonna lie, it is embarrassing. It'll be funny when it's on the telly though, so the day will be over soon and I won't be embarrassed anymore.